Welcome everyone to David Dudley Outdoors and today, yes, we're back in the tackle dungeon doing a fishing hack. It is spinnerbait season. It is the springtime of the year. Shad are spawning. They're going crazy. Uh, this is the perfect time of the year to throw a spinnerbait. And not only in the springtime, spinnerbaits do well pretty much all year round but there's always seasons for baits where I like to throw a spinner bait in the spring and I also like to throw them some in the fall when the shad start, the little shad start getting big, the spinner bait comes back in play or you're around a lot of heavy cover. But the talk today is spinner bait trailers. Now there's a lot of different options out there. Uh, most commonly used probably in today's time is the paddle tail boot uh, swim bait, which basically it's a swim bait that has a paddle tail on it. But what happens a lot of times is the skirt blocks the swim bait from giving it the full motion. That's what we're going to discuss today, and I'm going to show you a simple hack and explain to you my thought behind it. Alright, so let's look at the most common way a spinner bait is used today. You have a skirt and you have a flared out area. The reason for the flare on the, the skirt is to give it a presentation of a big bait fish, a body of, you know, representing something. That's the reason the flare is on it, okay? Typically the skirt is going to come down a little bit past the hook and this is what we most commonly do today. We take a skirt, uh, you may trim it a little bit, you put, the, you put your swim bait on, you push it up, there you have it, okay? That's what we do today. But what the problem is, is that the skirt is actually uh, causing the uh, boot tail to stop swimming when retrieved. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. So if, uh, giving you a quick shout out to 715 Baits, guys. I really appreciate the guys that make these baits. And I do throw these a lot. They are a lot, in, they are a lot of baits of his in my tackle box. So let's talk about the boot tail swim bait. How do we make the tail wiggle at all times with a swim bait? So here's what happens. Because of the bulk of this swim bait, in order for this tail to move at all times, it has to have a flow, a flow of water that comes and takes it from one side to the other, one side to the other, one side to the other. But if the flow of water is not streamlined coming down at this, and it's blocked, so Here's what I'm saying. When the swim bait is attached to the spinner bait, right? Okay, here it is. The flare of the skirt is restricting the water from streamline flowing down to the paddle tail. It's blocking it. It's not giving it the full action. So the paddle tail might be wiggling a little bit, wiggling a little bit. It's not full motion. So in because of the flare of the skirt and the bulk size of the skirt, that's what's happening. Now, in order to get this boot tail to get the full action that it, it needs, you have to, this is the first thing I do if I'm using a boot tail swim bait. First thing you do is take the skirt and you're simply going to cut the inside of the skirt away, okay? inside gone not completely i leave just a little bit there but see how it's gone and the reason i do that is to allow more flow of water through the skirt now the reason i can do away with this is because of the body of the swim bait the body the reason the inside is there to give it a full look and effect but uh, with the body of these hollow, uh, the, the uh, boot tails that we have, this just replaced it. Now, the water, it still has the bulky look to it, right? Still has the bulky look, but yet water is flowing through the skirt and allowing the swim bait to give 
a lot more action, okay guys? You understand what I'm saying? It's just letting more water travel through to let the swim bait do what it needs to do. Guys, I hope you learned a lot through this uh, video. Guys, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button. Share these videos if you've learned something. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the support of the channel. And I'll be back at you soon.